Cummins is a global multinational conglomerate of uh, four divisions making uh, diesel and natural gas engines, power generation equipment, uh, various components for filtration, fuel systems, turbochargers, and after treatment systems, as well as a service network to uh, provide parts and services to our customers. Cummins began looking at manufacturing software solutions for two reasons. Number one, we were seeking to have a solution that we could quickly deploy for future growth, and secondly, we had legacy solutions, in some cases 25 years old, that were difficult to support and costly to maintain. We had many different applications applied across our plants globally that were all unique to the specific location, and we really wanted a common solution that we could support in multiple locations with one global team. We also couldn't maintain the data um, beyond about a week. So as soon as an engine was shipped, we had to discard that data from our existing system. So it wasn't available for future analysis or for troubleshooting later on. Um, what the new system has given us is the ability to do that much better. We can retain it for a long period of time. NGMES stands for Next Generation Manufacturing Execution System. And it's the name that we gave to our solution that we built on top of a Friso FlexNet. The first plant where we installed our NGMES solution was at the Darlington Engine Plant in Darlington, UK. This plant was selected because it was a very challenging plant from the complexity that it deals with, but it was a moderate size and volume plant, so it gave us a good starting point to prove out our deployment plans. It's very important that we can configure MES to meet our requirements here at Darlington. We're a highly proliferated plant and we need to be able to react to a customer's needs. It's very important that we can find ways to increase the throughput of the plant using a system like MES, and so it's highly configurable and that lets us react on a real dynamic basis. It puts a lot of control in the business's hands. It gives them the ability to reconfigure the line, to set fail safes. Um, it also makes the operator much more accountable and engaged in the process. Um, the operator details are recorded in the system. We can make sure that operators only operate stations that they're trained in, and also they tell us when things are wrong. A really good thing that it does is it lets the operator see immediately if they've made a suggestion for an improvement or they've made a remark about a quality alert requirement, something like that, that can come across straight away. It's, it's configurable by the business and it's a real time. So they might make a suggestion for a quality alert or an audit question and the very next time an engine of that shop order comes round, they can see that in action. Our second implementation was at the Beijing Photon Engine Company plant in Beijing, China. And the most recent implementation that we had was at Falton, India, at our mega site, where we've opened TCL2, the Tata Cummins Limited mid-range engine plant. One of the advantages that Apriso FlexNet gives us when working with our joint ventures is the ability to interface with a variety of business applications in the ERP space. We interface with Oracle in most of our plants, but for our joint ventures, we sometimes need to interface with other ERPs. One of the things that's very important for us is to have the ability to configure the solution to fit the site's specific needs. And the FlexNet and the way that we've configured it for Cummins gives us that flexibility to really customize the application for each business process at the plants. The thing I like most about the NGMS system, I think, is the quality side of it. Because of lots of questions, we've got lots of part numbers, verification, and so less chance to make errors really. We've got much more dynamic and controllable fail safing with MES. The business can configure the system itself and so has been able to use a suite of operational reports to both balance the line on a day-to-day -day basis but also look at more future plans around bottleneck areas and we've seen an increase in our throughput um, enabled by, in part by MES of about 25% since introducing MES. We've also seen our quality improve through the use of quality alerts, audit questions. We've just introduced uh, more frequent quality gates in the line. So we've seen a lot of benefits around throughput and quality. We've also seen an improvement in terms of operator engagement. The operator is much more engaged in the assembly process now and can take a more active involvement um, in using MES and making suggestions that they can see. I like the new vision system on it. It's easier for the operator because every time a new engine comes in, you're able to visually see the product on the screen instead of having the old system which was diagrams. Well, I think the NGMES system is easy to use because of the build days and graphics and it's very interactive. You can 
like report the fault or put a postal defect there and then on that engine without having to write a scrap ticket or a reject ticket or shortage ticket out so it's a lot quicker. Well our plans for global deployment are to uh, build on the successes that we've had so far at Darlington, at Beijing and now in India and really deploy to the rest of the plants in our company across all of our business units over the next probably three to four years. One of the challenges that is often presented to uh, global implementations of an MES is that there's always something out there that people think they can get cheaper. And what we've found is that the cheaper solutions typically don't actually meet the needs of the plants or aren't able to be supported long term. And so we've invested in a solution that is both scalable and flexible enough to meet the needs of our company as well as meet our cost expectations.